Y'all ready for this? All right, guys. What we gonna do tonight, I'm gonna show you how to wire up a 14S. This will be seven Nissan Leaf batteries. Inside of this battery, you're gonna have one cell here, one cell here. And then you're going to have a hot and a ground, which is this. This is the hot to this one, and this is the hot to, th to this one. So you use these two, and it makes like one cell, but you got a center tap. So what I'm going to show you how to do is how to wire this up. And the first thing you're going to want to start off with is the ground. That's where I always start because the ground is the number starts off with the number one after the ground so you're going to have your ground wire here which is going to be the first one right here you got your ground and your ground is going to come across and go right here i'm going to put it on hold on okay guys got the ground on next one is going to be this center tap here this is your first hot so you're going to have a ground and then you're going to have your first hot the first hot is going to be this, the first one next to the ground. That's number one. So that, when you look on your BMS, that's going to be number one on your, um, on your BMS. This is going to be cell number one. So cell number one is going to go right here. This is cell number one. This is ground. All right. The next one is going to be cell number two. Cell number two is right here next to cell number one. So from your black, you're going to count over one and then two. And this is cell number two. It's going to go right here. But at first, you got to put your cross over bar to bring this hot over to this ground. And then that's how you're going to keep going. So hold on a second. Alright guys, I got that on. This one here is going to be a ground. This is your hot coming over to this ground. So, let me put this screw in here and I'll come right back. Alright guys, you got your ground, you got your one, you got your two. And you're going to skip over to this center tap. Don't go on to here. You want to go to the center tap right here. So, you got your BMS here. And your BMS is, this is number three. Count over one, two, skip one, then you're going to go to three. So this is cell number three. It's going to go right here. You're going to take your screw. You're going to put it right in on here. Let me get this done, and I'll come right back. All right, guys, you got your number four. You're going to count over from the black wire. You're going to go to the first white wire, one two, three, and this is number four. This is number four cell. So I'm going to move over. You ain't going to be able to see the BMS anymore, but I'm going to continue on down the line. All right. Number four is going to hook right here. But before you put this on, I got to put another one of these crossovers to skip over to the next batter. So let me get that, and I'll be right back. Hold on. All right, guys. Number four was here. Cross over to this ground. That's going to raise your voltage up. As you keep crossing over like this, it keep raising the voltage up. We're going to get the meter out, and I'm going to show you that. Here's number five right here. Cell number five will be right here. All right, after cell number five, you're going to have another crossover that's going to go right here, go over to the next battery. Let me put this on and get number five, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we back at the BMS. I wanted to show you this. You got number six right here, and then you're going to jump over. This is number seven right here and what you're going to have see how 
at that. See how some of the wires is missing out because you got to have 14 wires. So you have to take some of these out because you ain't going to need them. And you're going to continue. What's going to make it continue is when you tie this one together with this one. It's one missing out of here and it's four missing out of here because this can go to uh, I think it's two missing out of here and four missing out of here because this can go to a 20S. So that's the reason why you got to tie these two together. If you don't tie these two together, it's not going to complete the circuit and you're going to have an error. So both of these wires is tied together into one, which is number six. Now let me take you back down here. Number seven going in right here seven is gonna go in right here this is gonna be number eight but before you put number eight on you have to have your crossover to jump over to the next battery now let me get some screws we'll put that on come right back okay guys we got number eight in we crossed over to this ground. This is going to be number nine. Number nine is going in right here. And after you put number nine in, you got to put another crossover on. Crossover from here over to here. And this is number 10. Let me grab that and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got number 10 on. We crossed over to the next ground. This is going to be 11. Let me grab 11 and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got number 11. Number 11 is going on right here. I'll put number 11 on. And then the next one is going to be number 12. Cell number 12. This is going to be 12 right here, but you got to put a crossbar to come over to this one, there to there. This would be the last crossbar. Then we had the last two connections, which would be 13 and 14. Let me grab that, and I'll be right back. This was 13. This one was 14. Let me go take you down there. Hold on. All right, we down here at the BMS. This right here is 14. 14 and the red wire is the same wire. It's two different wires, but they connect it together at the end. Right here. Into one wire. So when you hook this one up down at the end, the last one, number 14, you're going to be hooking up. 14 and the hot wire to fire this up. So let's go do that. Hold on a second. Okay, we got number 14 on. I'm going to snug all of these up and then I'm going to show you an overview of the whole thing. Hold on. Alright, guys, what you're going to have now is you're going to have. Turn this around like this. Blue always go to the to the negative side of the battery. So we're gonna remove this one. You're gonna put this one on. Because if you don't have this thing on when you fire that BMS up, it's going to beep like crazy. Okay, that's on. So the ground is on there. And what's going to happen is this ground here goes to your charge controller and your load. So you can um, run this directly to your inverter and your charge controller. And this BMS will control 
the juice that's going in or coming out of the BMS. All right, guys, let me do this again. So, oh, my foot keep hitting this thing. You got ground right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So there you go. Let me get my multimeter and we're going to do some testing. Hold on. We got first one. 3.8, 41, 45, 49, 53.3. All right, so we know that's, that's all right. So what we're going to do now, I have to go and get my telephone, and we're going to fire up this BMS. Let me show you how to fire the BMS up. Because a lot of people is not going to know how to do this. Because they don't give you any instructions when you get this thing. You're going to come over here. You're going to go into the, that's when you're looking at it, that's going to be your left hand one. I think it'll only plug into this one anyway. You're going to plug this one up. And you're going to take these two wires. And you're going to touch it to anything less than 12 volts. So let me show you. You take the red wire. Touch it onto here. Take the black wire. Touch it on and hold it. Here it hurt. You hear the beep? It just activated. So now the BMS is working. So now, you can see the red light blinking right there. And you know the BMS is working. So now, when you take the multimeter, You put it on this ground right here and you touch it to the battery. Yep, you're getting 3.8, you're getting 7.6. So now we know that it's letting the current go by. Let me go get my phone, hold on. Okay, once you get the app downloaded, there it is right there. You're going to tap on it. It says it's auto connecting. Couldn't connect. Going to click on that one there. Hit allow. There it go. It just paired. Now you're going to hit one, two, three, four. Click the check. Hit OK. Now it's connected. Now what you're going to do is you're going to press on here. There it is. There go the sales. Let me get you down. Hold on a second. All right, guys. Now you got your cell number one, cell number two is over here, cell number three, and it's going down, it's telling you that cell number one is the highest, 
at 3.851. Cell number 13 is the lowest at 3.872. And what you can do to configure rate it, you might have to configure rate it so you can press this one, the center key. It's going to bring that up and then you can put in whatever you want. The highest voltage that I want mine to go to is 4.17 per cell, not per module, per cell. That's the highest voltage. The lowest is 2.85 and then you can go through and say like if you want to, you want to change that, you click on it. And then you can enter the value. Then you go over here and hit set. And that's how you do the BMS. When you get done, you hit save. You heard it beep. Let you know that it saved it. And then you can go out of here. And you can hit that.